My name is Tabitha Coffey. I've been hairdressing 25 years. I travel the world doing hair shows and educating other hairdressers out there. My salon is so successful, there's a three month waiting list to get an appointment with me. I've devoted everything I have to this industry. I love it. And now I'm going to use my experience to help struggling salons get back on track. Husband and wife Chris and Kwana own Ten Salon in downtown Long Beach, California. Both their marriage and their business are in big trouble. It's been my dream to open a salon since five years into my career. In order to open a salon, we literally needed to mortgage our house twice. We needed to max out every single one of our credit cards. There's been twice, there's been an eviction notice on the door, and we've taken it off really quick so that the, the staff doesn't see it. The amount of money that we would owe if we were kicked out of this salon would be over a million dollars. I would say the main problem of Ten Salon and Spa is management. Okay, I'll let you do your job. Kwana has been known to be unstable. I want to crawl on this goddamn roof and f***ing jump off. That's what I want to do. The management situation and the money that's coming in, we're not going to be able to keep our doors open for another three months. A year ago in April, Chris left his job to come helped me with my dream. He was a survival instructor. He trained Marines how to get out of ditched helicopters. So now we're in here every day together and it's, it's costing us our marriage. One in four salons go under within the first four years of business and 10 salon could be next. It feels like everything that we've built can be gone tomorrow. I'm Tabitha and the secret to turning a struggling salon into a thriving business is one week with me. I'm going to change everything. I will clean up the management, shake up the staff, and transform every part of the salon. I'm tough, I'm talented, I'm taking over. Hello. Hello. Kwana, Tabitha, nice, nice to meet nice you. Tabitha, nice to meet you. I'm Tabitha. So you guys asked for my help, and here I am. All right. You know, I need to see what goes on in the life of your salon during the day. So I want you guys to follow me. Okay. Have a seat. Thank you. I've put some surveillance cameras in and sent clients of my own so I can really get to the bottom of what's going on. You've asked for my help. Yeah. I'm here. What's going on? If you look at our financial statements, you'll see lack of cash flow. You'll see, obviously, huge debt. So you're not getting the customers in or you're not retaining them or both? Both. But why? I believe part of it is the understanding of how hard you need to work to be able to retain your clients as a stylist. So you think it's your stylist's fault? Yeah. You're not a hairdresser. Right. I'm assuming you know nothing about the hairdressing industry. Did not. He is a business owner in a salon acting as a manager right now. There's a big difference between managing something yes. and micromanaging. Right. So do you do that? I don't feel like I micromanage. Does she micromanage? I think so, yeah. What I want you guys to do is look at your salon. Let's see some of these problems that you're telling me about and see if any of them come up. Okay. So here we go. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. How can we help you? Um, I'm a walk-in. Do you have anything available? Let's see. I can't put you in with Danny. Carrie? No. She's booked. Um, so approximately how long do you think you'll be there? Um, we're just gonna try to squeeze you in. Okay. Um, it'll just be about like five to ten minutes. Oh, okay. Just figure that out. Okay. You have a seat? Great, thank I'll you. be right back. Here's a client that's asking for a haircut and a colour. You have two front desk staff there and what five other staff just hanging around the front desk and no one can work it out. How do you think he's applying that colour? Looks a bit lumpy. It looks messy. How does that stain all around that hairline and the hair all in her face and everything look to you? It's not how I do it. It's how your staff do it. Yeah, I see that. What's that in her hand? Scratcher, I think. It's called a tail comb, not a scratcher. Oh. <laughs> That's horrible. What do you use if a client has an irritated scalp? I don't do their hair. 
That's like Beauty School 101. If someone's saying, ouch, this hurts, you don't just hand them something and go, oh, well, here, scratch. I, I understand. And you want to know why you have no clients, why they don't come back. What's two inches to you? Two inches yeah. to me? Uh, like that. That looks like one, two, three. Every, it's different to everybody. Okay, so yeah, like I'm thinking that much off. Oh. Okay. So what would you say you're cutting off? Two inches or one and a half? Yeah. It's like a solid two <laughs> you're cutting off. Well, my inch is different than your inch. It sure is. <laughs> this girl is scissophobic, wants an inch off, and is being told by the hairdresser, well, that might be your inch, but that's my inch. And uh, just to throw another thing into the mix, I sent that client in. So that definitely didn't go well. Isn't this fun? No. <laughs> Sorry, um, I only just said it's gonna be a minute, but for sure it's gonna be a minute, because first you said like five minutes, and then five minutes again, and... Have you not checked in yet? No, I mean like with the time... Tent like... Salon is gone. This is David, I can assist you. For what day? Let me tell you something. I've watched three people cover this desk today, and three people can't do it. I hear you. I don't disagree. Can I cut that woman's hair? I don't know what services you can perform. Well, that's my question. Right, let me show you. This list pops out, but yours only says miscellaneous, so with every service you do, I have to ask her, you know, is he, has he been cleared for that? You know that I can do all that. Well, I know you can do all that, for sure, but at this point, you're not cleared for any of the processes. The deal is that you're not letting him work. I mean, he definitely could have cut it. Well, he definitely couldn't have cut him because David is telling him that he's not cleared right. to do haircuts because the computer says miscellaneous. Tell me she doesn't walk out. So there she goes. <laughs> you know what, I've seen enough. I really have. I want your keys to the salon. Right. Hi. Does everyone want to follow me, please? Could you get all these people to stop working for a second? I'm Tabitha. And I'm taking over. Kwana and Chris reached out to me and they've asked for my help. So I'm going to spend the next week in this salon because it's mine. And I'm going to change everything. I've cancelled all your appointments for the week. And at the end of this, some of you may not have a job. I sent clients in today to have their hair done and experience what this salon was all about. So I'd like to bring them in. Hi, girls. Hello. So these are the people that I had come in today to help me out. And the other thing that you don't know is that Kwana, Chris and I, we've been watching you all day. Oh, sh God, I hope I didn't do anything wrong today. My first lovely client that I sent in today, first of all, there was a big debate about the client's inch and your inch. Your client was actually right. Yours was three inches. For why are you crying? Why are you crying? I'm, I'm... I mean, can you answer me why you're standing here crying about doing this girl's I'm, hair? I'm sorry, I feel bad. You should feel bad. I hate crying. Why don't you channel all those tears and emotion into something productive? Work. And my other lovely young lady over here, David. Yes. You didn't even know whether she'd been checked in or not. And when she came to speak to you, you actually cut her off and picked up a phone quite rudely and ignored her and the conversation that she was having. I'm feeling about two inches big. And what could I say? I mean, they had me on video. I totally f***ed that one up. Anyway, I know that you guys have got clients to finish off. Thank you for going away from them. I need to look around this place. So go back to work and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Tell me the scoop or how it runs around here, because I'm at a loss. Well, we do have this, this book. We Can have, I have a look at that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. We have our notes for front desk, like booking walk-ins. This should have been up in front, but this is what happened that, with that one client, booking walk-ins. We didn't know how to do it. Oh, can I see that as well? Absolutely. It does have the protocol for it. We try to write a protocol for everything that happens or could happen. 
Kwana's rule over our salon is very clear and precise. I have to follow procedure, 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 procedure. I have a script I have to read. So I had to get a new case because the one that they gave us wasn't big enough. So it's in stages, as you can see, and you get the certificate if you pass certain stages. And I mean, it has I have everything in here. The way that I manage is through our 10 Salon & Spa handbook, our assistant training manual, which is 10 Salon & Spa University. And as long as people follow the handbook that they signed off on, everything's cool. I've never seen so much bloody paper wasted in my whole entire life in this place. We based everything that we know here at the salon off this handbook. It's overwhelming, and nobody can remember all those scripts. Juana, Chris. I'm dizzy in this place. I get into the salon and I'm met with a circle that somewhere in the middle of it is the salon that you have to walk all the way around it. I mean, it's just the most stupid thing I've ever seen. We walk in the front door, and this is my first impression. So if I'm walking past, I don't even know it's a bloody salon in here. It's not your typical design. I worked really hard with the designer to have the flow of the salon be something unique. How long do you think this coffee's been sat there? I've had showers hotter than that hot plate. Put your hand on that for a while. Yeah, uh, that goes to prove your hot plate. It's, it's not hot, it's, it's warm. I couldn't believe how cold the coffee was. These guys need to work on their customer service and see what happens in a professional salon. From just coming in, I can see the space is huge. And how much have you spent? Over half a million dollars. And I'd he's... say more like three quarters of a million. This place cost you three quarters of a million dollars, Chris, you're saying? Chris is showing me around the salon and it's grey, it's drab, it has no life. I can't see $150,000 in there. Do your staff know how real this is for you guys? I don't think so. You could lose everything. Right. <laughs> you're doing something that is your passion. Right. And you've put everything into this. Right. This is your real life. And it's not pretty. It's not a surprise to me that the salon is going under. It's a surprise to me that they've made it this far. I am someone who's supposed to have the answers to everything because it's my business, right? And having Tabitha to come help me. And I appreciate that to no end, but just want to give up. I've got my work cut out for me tonight because the stakes on this one are really high. <sighs> Coming up, you know you just insulted this strapping young man. I don't realize what I said. believe how far these owners have let it go. Something should have been done a year ago. Now it's time to breathe life into this salon. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you this morning? I'm good. Good night's sleep. Yeah, how about you? I was up for quite a lot of last night actually reading all of this. I don't know many corporations that have this many manuals in them. I just disagree. Hairdressers don't want to be caught up in all this bullshit. How many staff have you had through the doors in two years? 75 to 80. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people in two years. I can't believe that anyone could go through 80 employees in a two year span. I actually, yes, I can, I read the manual. I understand that you guys had a really big dream. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it has to be this big first time around. But it is, yeah. When you decided to open this business, did you sit down and do a formal business plan? Yes, ma'am. Tell me a little bit about it. $2,500 a day is the average of what we need to make. How much do you make a day? 1700 to 2000 And then you borrow against your credit cards? We can't anymore. Right, they because they're they maxed allow us out. Anymore. We've mortgaged our house multiple times. We have 30 acres of land that uh, is mortgaged. It just seemed like once we started getting into it, there was no turning back. You know, conceivably, how long do you think that you can keep going at this rate? Technically, we could be out tomorrow because we're $50,000 behind in rent. Yeah. <laughs>
It is unbelievable how much debt they're in. They could lose their house, their cars, property that they have. That gives us uh, an allowance of, you know, maybe six or seven dollars a day, maybe, to eat. Seven dollars between you. Between us, yes. My dog food cost me more than three fifty. You want me to break it down for you? Go so for you it. buy you buy a three pound bag of beans, you get rice, you get tuna. F***ing tuna and rice? You kidding me? I got some good information from Quana and Chris, but what I need to do is call a staff meeting and see what's really going on. feeling apprehensive. I think we need changes, but I'm also nervous. I don't want to be targeted. I am nervous. Ooh, here she comes. Look, purpose of this meeting is so that I can get to know you guys and get to know what's going on in the salon. I've asked Quana and Chris not to be here because I need the real deal. It's the only way I'm going to be able to turn everything around is if I get the truth. They have so many systems, they think that their systems are black and white, but with so many systems, it becomes gray. It's protocol. Follow protocol. It's very strict. It's their way or the highway. They feel like no matter what I do, it's not good enough. It's her sandbox, and you either play in it or you don't. Yep. There are a lot of write-up materials yeah. in the manuals I took home. Who's been written up? The reception book that I read there were scripts written out for everything. For everything, from phone calls to talking to a client when they walk in to yep. everything. Yeah. Could you uh, recite a few lines of your script for me? This is David, uh, wait, Tensil on his spa. This is David, I can assist you. You sound like a friggin' robot. I feel a lot of times that when I want to speak to a client as a human, a lot of times I have to follow my protocols and my scripts and I feel kind of bound by those a lot of the times. With all the rules that Chris and Kwana have laid out for them, it's ridiculous. It's stifling them, and it's like being in kindergarten. The stakes are high for them, but also you, because if they close, you won't have a job. And what I need to do is see what kind of hairdressers you are and assess each and every one of you. So I've organized some clients to come in. So I've got clients coming in today with celebrity photographs. I really need to see what the work is all about in this place. I was also kind of hoping we could do maybe a little uh, frosting in there, maybe. Frosting is a very ancient term as far as hair goes. You know you just insulted this strapping young man. I don't realize what I said. You told him that frosting was an ancient term. So did he mean highlighting. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done it that way. I apologize. My hair has a little bit of a wave in it, like hers, mm -hmm. and hers is a little bit fuller, possibly a little bit longer than mine. So you're interested in the in the style, but style not necessarily the color. the color. Right. Gotcha. Right. Do you like how her bangs are? Yes, I do. Let's use this as our inspiration, but we want to really customize it mm -hmm. for you. And I'll show you also product-wise what's going to help the most to achieve that look, too. Okay. Very nice consultation. Oh, thank you. In the picture, she's asymmetrical. Is that something, I mean, definitely you like that and everything? What else would you ask in this consultation? I'd go through my needs assessment. When was the last time she left her hair? What are her challenges? You don't need a script. I want some spirit. I want some love in it. Jennifer's consultations do not work at all. And she needs to relax. OK, go for it. Just repeat what you just said, or? So you've just started cutting? I, yeah, I've done the back. Show me how to cut hair before I tell you and then you'll agree with me. The best way to practice is you find an eye level and you, your thumb is the only thing that moves. What you're doing is kind of opening and closing and you're crunching as you do it. I have lots of practice. Coming up, this is way too long for me. I just feel like this is too heavy. It's too square. It looks like you screwed up a haircut. Let me tell you, your wife can have a stick up her ass sometimes. And we're done. After the stylists were done cutting their hair, it was time for me to assess their work. First of all, what do you think? It's not what you don't I like wanted, the... but it's a nice haircut. What do you think about the color? I probably could have gone darker. 
feel like this is too heavy. How do you feel about the bangs? I really like the bangs. Okay. I was actually proud of my haircut. When I look at it, look, okay. it doesn't look like it's asymmetric. It looks like you screwed up a haircut. It's too square. It looks mannish. Okay. Women don't want the back of their head to look like that. This is way too long for me. Spottiness of colour. In the consultation, you insulted your client. Not good. Very nice blow dry. And there was a nice finish to the hair. I think it looks great. Louis did a great job. For me, best out of a lot of them. Ironic thing is, he's the guy that's not allowed work on the floor because he's not been approved yet by Kwana. Today was interesting. Remember, I'm going to change everything for my final evaluation. Some of you may not hold the positions that you hold at the moment. Go home and get some rest. Good night. These stylists are desperate to learn. They're hungry for education. And they're hungry for someone to lead them, not preach at them. I spent all day with your stuff. Everyone feels like they're micromanaged. People feel like there are too many rules, and I agree with them. We learned when we opened, you manage systems. You can't manage people. You can manage people. Well, show me how. You manage people by giving them motivation, letting them see your passion. That's how you manage people, lead by example. Tabitha kind of hit, I think, some buttons on Quana and I, because I think we do everything to the best that we know how to do it. If I said to you tomorrow, Quana, you can never pick up another pair of scissors or another color brush in your life, what would it do to you? It would destroy me. It would destroy you. Quana's passionate about hairdressing. You know, it was good to see. Then you have Chris that doesn't feel like there's any life in there. You seem like a duck out of water to me today. What are you really doing for the business? I mean, do you really want to be here? That passion that she has right there, that's because she loves what she does. That's because she's passionate about it. We need some passion. We need to change it. And we will. You ready to change it? Let's do it. Let's do it. What do we have to lose? A lot to gain, though, don't you? Yes, really. I'll be right back. These guys have several issues, and I hope that they're prepared to be able to turn this around to save their business, because it's going to take some drastic changes. We're going to go out with the old, in with the new, OK? I want that gone. In the shredder. Not read it. I was so sick of that handbook. It was time to pull that shredder out and make Quana and Chris shred the rules. In there. Oh, go on. To shred the handbook was a little bit scary because it's been a good system for us. Oh, yeah. We're rewriting rules now. Come on. Just want to make sure this isn't a check. Put those in, for God's sake. I can't stand those. Give so me your credit cards. I'll do them as well. They've already been shredded. Oh, it's passion. We found your passion shredding. Shredding. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Come on around. I've got some news for the staff this How's morning everyone? that I think they'll love. It's time to start fresh. I'm going to share a little bit of what happened last night. Kwana and Chris shredded the rule book. Yeah. It's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. It was a really big moment and I think a big turning point because what it means is we can rewrite the rule book. I'm excited to be a part of writing a new rulebook. I feel newly inspired. Today's all about getting out there and doing what we do as hairdressers, which is socialize, cut some great hair, and bring some new clients into this salon. What do you think? Absolutely. Let's go. We're taking a field trip. Now, first of all, I'm just excited because she's not yelling at me and calling me robot. I've got everything here that you're going to need. I took the stylist to a really busy area of Long Beach so that they could do a cutting event and market the salon. 
David? Yes. Seeing as you're the head front desk extraordinaire man, <laughs> prove it to me. I want to see how much promotion you can do. All right, let's go. Yeah. Welcome to the 10 Salon and Spa Experience. Who wants to get their haircut for free? Ladies, would you like to get your haircut today? When's the last time you loved your hair? Who wants a free haircut? Who'd have thought it? Rip the script up and look what happens. The real yeah, David right. comes alive. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> So have a seat. Louise is going to cut your hair. So we're just going to do a, a very precision haircut and shape up the back. Okay. Great. Start and we'll see how it goes. How it goes. I'm just going to trim it, so maybe a little bit more in here. A client comes in, she says she wants that much off. You think her hair is a little damaged on the ends and she needs that much off. And you tell her, you know what, I want your hair to look beautiful. I need to take that much off. Okay. And show her. Okay. And that is what taking command of a consultation is all about. Okay. okay? We'll do that. Jennifer just needs a little mentoring to help her gain confidence. I know there's a good stylist in there somewhere. David clearly had everything under control, the stylists were all busy, and the only one not participating was Chris. So I pulled him aside to find out what he'd rather be doing. When I look at everyone today, I can see that Kwana seems a little lighter in her attitude. Yeah. She's not quite so rigid. Because let me tell you, your wife can have a stick up her ass sometimes. I agree with that. Have you thought about doing what makes Chris happy? I'm, I'm slowly figuring out what makes Chris happy. Every time you put the key in the door, you have to love it. Yeah. It's kind of like unwrapping a present. There's that little, oh, that was exciting. I still love doing that. And if it doesn't, then that's not your passion. Well, I have some self-discovery to do, I guess. He was trying to play salon manager. He's not really good at it. You can tell he's uncomfortable by it, and he just doesn't know what to do. If you leave, you can do what you want to, Kwana can do what she wants to, and then you two can be a better married couple. Yeah. You can still support her in the business, and she can support you. Hey, everyone. I thought you guys did a great job. Are we ready to clean up? Ready. Yeah, ready. Yeah. All right, let's go. Get out of here. Good day, everyone. Have a fun. Good day. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. That. Horrifying. I thought he was going to hug me. I've worked on Chris and Kwana. I've worked on the staff. Now it's time to work on the salon. It's time for renovation. You guys have teared down a lot of walls. Yes. Okay. And I think the most symbolic thing to do would be to tear down that wall over there and open this place up. We need to let those people all the way out there on that street see what's going on in here. Ready? Well, it's now or, or now, so yes. Okay, let me get my surprise for you. I'm ready. You ready? This is for you. You gotta be kidding me. She can't be asking me to cut down this structure. It means so much to us and we spent so much money on it. It's all yours. This is for you. Oh, come on, take it. Coming up. Woo! Oh, my God! Yeah. I think Juana is handling the changes pretty well. I'm surprised that there hasn't been a throwdown by now. you're thinking that this chainsaw will go through that metal? I'm thinking that you can cut this glass out here and let all those people out there see what's hiding in this bloody salon. I know Chris and Kwana love the design of this circle, but it has to start coming down or I can't really turn this salon around. This is your dream. Do you want me to do it? It's one panel. There's a station there. 
Yeah, we'll move to station two. Okay. See? You know what? It's all right, big boy. Just kidding. I got another tool for you. It's all right. You manly man, you. <laughs> there you go. They're all the things that you need. We'll take the station out. Come on. Help. You guys should do it together. It's your business. Hallelujah. Come on, help. Take this apart. Unbelievable. Let there be light. Still not quite enough, but it's start. Feel liberated? Feel different. You do feel different? Yeah. Anytime someone tears up a creation that you, you have, it can be overwhelming. I can't count how many times I actually was nauseous. You started it for me, you took a big step, and I'm going to finish it for you. And when you come back, there'll be a lot of exciting changes. Go, relax. I'm so excited about the salon. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Are you ready? Ready. Like, ready, ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Awesome. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! This isn't the same salon. It's amazing. Awesome. My first reaction was excitement. Also wondering what Juana was gonna think of the broken circle. Oh my god! Okay, so I know it's a lot to take in, but love it? Love it. All right, so I'm going to take you on the tour. As you can see, aroma bar, makeup area on this side, coffee bar, beverage centre, incredible sculpture up there. I think Juana is handling the changes pretty well. I'm surprised that there hasn't been a throwdown by now. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a it's lot. A lot. I love it, babe. This yeah. is not the Kwana that we know. Again, lighting up above the station so that you can actually see and just pops a colour so that it brightens everything up. We have colour on our walls. We have colour on our panels. Really exciting for me as an employee and our clients are going to love it. For me to be able to stand here and look on the street, <laughs> you have to want to come in here yeah. because it looks spectacular. I feel like this is what we needed. This was the renovation that will just set us apart. We know the space is beautiful. Now I want them blown away with you and your work and your passion. This is your chance today. This is the reopening. Chris, I really need to see your passion today. In charge, in control, know what you're doing. It looks like your marketing efforts paid off because we have a full book of clients coming in today. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Two stations, get ready. Today is the final test for the stylist to show me what they've learned. I'm totally overwhelmed. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you. The staff were really excited for the reopening, but I could tell that Kwana was still taking in the changes that I'd made. so on board when we walked in and all of a sudden all crying. You know, it's a lot to take in the small amount of time. It, it is pretty overwhelming. Calm down. Take a deep breath. The place looks amazing. I know it's overwhelming. I do. I know it's overwhelming. It's very overwhelming um, seeing, um, seeing all the changes. It made me feel like a failure. It made me feel that everything I've been fighting so hard for was all in vain. I mean, this is her baby, you know, that she thought everything out, and it was exactly what she wanted. And now someone's changed it. You take five minutes, because the last thing they need to see 
is Kwana like this because they are pumped up and they are happy and they deserve that. Yeah. All right, so I'll take care of them. Okay. You take care of your wife. Will do. Kwana has a problem with change. It was overwhelming to her. All the changes that I've implemented, she had lost all control. It is a lot to take in. Change is hard. So Kwana's just a little upset. She'll be fine. This is her baby. And I get that. So she just needs a few minutes, all right? She needs your support. Clients are on the way. Just positive reinforcement for her and she'll be fine. Okay, okay? thank you. Right, thank you. Good morning. How are you? My name's David, hey. welcome. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. How do you feel about side bangs? Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Kwana had a good cry, got it out of her system, and she was ready to rejoin her team and cut some hair. She had a client that she came out to do their hair, which I was really happy to see her do that, and that meant a lot to her staff. What she's here to do is help us improve and, you know, clean it up. I feel like each and every one of us have room to grow and room to improve because you can always make things better. I think everyone in the salon was really working hard together to take care of their clients, except Chris. Talk Kwana and Chris into the back so that we could have some private time and talk about what I felt was a major problem, and that's Chris's role in the salon. I don't think you're a help to her. I've seen when Kwana is doing something and you're sitting, hanging out up the front. You were doing it 10 minutes ago. It's what do you tough. think? I feel like I'm in prison and you're getting to fly around and, and I know that you go out and you talk to people and meet people but it just feels so unfair you know this is the business that you're good at mm -hmm. this is the business that you came in to help with but because you don't get it I don't really think you're contributing to it so I think you need to take a back seat behind the scenes. Absolutely. And I'm oh. all for it. Kwana realises the best thing for her marriage and her business is for Chris to leave. And Chris is getting that too. She's a big girl. She can do it on her own. I Am I right? She can do a pretty good job. No, you're 100% right. I like business. I'm passionate about business. And if it makes business sense for me not to be here, I have no problems with it. Give her a hug, for Christ's sake. I love you. Love you too. Coming up, Kwana, would you like to tell everyone what we were talking about? My jaw just dropped to the floor. Was it a good day? Yeah. It was a good day. You know, we started off the day and it had a lot of pressure and a lot of change. Though I think it's the best change you could have, just that taste of client after client, that should be every day, all day, that's what it should be. Kwana, would you like to tell everyone what we were talking about? We're actually gonna be planning an exit for Chris. Not having Chris in the salon is a huge deal. My jaw just dropped to the floor. He's not gonna like leave tomorrow, but we are definitely planning an exit so that we can stay married. <laughs> By Chris leaving, I think that's gonna help the salon immensely. And kudos to him to realize that he's gonna be able to pursue his passion and his dream, just like all of us here at the salon are doing right now. What my recommendations are is, Jennifer, I think today was the first day that you were confident. Every day, that's what I want you to do. Okay. Danny, I think you're a nice guy, 
but I think you need to learn a little bit more. Absolutely. That would be my recommendation, that you are assisting because your skill set isn't quite there yet. That really hurts. When someone of that caliber tells me I shouldn't be on the floor, I want to prove her wrong. It just motivates me, though. Louise, from first day, I thought you did very nice work. And my hope would be that Louise is on the floor all the time. My final recommendation would be David. More responsibility, call him manager. When Tabitha said, my last thing here is I say, you should make David the salon manager. I was like, wow, I can't remember, that'd be incredible. Before I give it back to you, Thank I know you. it's been a rough one, but good? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> I have completely transformed the salon. I've taken down the circle so it's more accessible to everyone. The rule book's been shredded. The staff are much happier now that they're not being micromanaged by Kwana. They now have the tools to turn the salon around and I believe they will. Good luck, but one day I might pop back in, so don't forget me too soon. I thank Tabitha for the advice about separating Quan and I in our business so that we have time to miss each other and really fall in love again. I love all you guys and I appreciate you being such an awesome team. I know that Tabitha had some heavy critiquing and I think it was good. The staff all have the potential to be great hairdressers. Some of them are good right now and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them grow. When I left 10 Salon and Spa, the changes were hard for Kwana, and I hope that she hasn't gone back to her old ways. I hope that Chris has found a new job, and I hope all the staff is passionate. Hey! Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Chris, what are you still doing here? When I left 10 Salon and Spa, one of my final recommendations was that Chris needed to leave the salon. I decided to start moving towards uh, something that I started a couple of years ago, and that was becoming a firefighter. I think it's great. I think that um, it's very empowering for me. That's really cool. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And how do clients feel about all the changes and renovations in here? They're like, wow, it's really opened up. We love it, you know. And how do you like it? I like it. I've embraced it. How's business? It's great. It's going great. Our dollars were up this month. And we had seven walk-ins. Wow. Just like that. How's the micromanaging going? Do you feel that you have let go of that a little bit? Absolutely. Did David step up and help you out with running everything? He's showing us that he's owning it. There's a little Tabitha in David yeah, now. Yeah, it has to be. There has to be. In order to keep <laughs> things ship-shaped, there has to be a little bit of Tabitha. Quana doesn't have to micromanage as much anymore because she has me to micromanage for her now. Now I get the respect that I deserve. I feel like I have created a monster. <laughs> when I was at Ten Salon and Spa last, I told Danny that he really needed more education. I know now we need to continue our education throughout our career. When's the last time you cried in front of a client? When you were here, Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, and said with a little attitude. That was fantastic. <laughs> They're embracing all the changes. The wall is still down. The staff are really motivated and working together as a team. If they keep this up, they can really be one of the premier salons in Long Beach. Next time on Tabitha's Salon Takeover. You're talking about a heavenly experience? Well, it's, it is raised. <sighs> this is un hygienic, let me tell you. That is disgusting. Well, I would say that, you know, things got a little dirty after a long day of work, so it's not like... Uh... You are the most annoying, aggravating, arrogant, delusional... Excuse me, you look pretty annoying to me right now. ...man that I think I have ever met. For more on Tabitha Salon Takeover, visit bravotv.com.